Custodial accounts. What is that? Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez, CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale. And we're back with another installment of What is That? Where we discuss financial terms and topics you may have heard, but we make them super easy to understand. Today, we're talking about custodial accounts, which have everything to do with investing and saving for your children. It's a great way for your children to get a head start and to learn about investing. So if you've ever heard the term custodial accounts and want to learn more, tune in and let's get started right at the beginning. Custodial accounts. What is that? The term custodial account typically refers to a savings account at a financial institution, a mutual fund company, or a brokerage firm. It is typically managed by an adult for a minor, and the minor is typically someone under the age of 18 or 21, depending on the state. In a custodial account, there are three parties, the owner, the beneficiary, and the custodian. The owner and the beneficiary is the child, and the custodian is the adult who manages the account for the minor. Approval from the custodian is mandatory for any transaction on the account, whether that is buying or selling a security or withdrawing from the account. In a broader sense, a custodial account basically means that the adult has a fiduciary responsibility to manage the account for the beneficiary. A fiduciary, which is the adult, is ethically and legally bound to act in the best interest of that beneficiary. Each state has specific regulations about the age of the minor, as well as the naming of the custodian and the alternate custodian. Once it's established, a custodial account acts much like a regular account. The custodian can choose to invest the money, withdraw the money, transfer the money, etc. Custodial accounts come in two basic varieties. The first is the Uniform Transfers to Minors Act, also known as an UTMA, and the second is the Uniform Gift to Minors Act, also known as an UGMA. The main distinction between the two lies in what kind of assets either one can hold. An UTMA can hold virtually any type of asset. An UGMA can only hold assets of cash, securities, life insurances, things of that nature. Once the minor reaches legal age, the custodian account automatically passes to the minor and they now have full and legal control of the funds. Should the child die before reaching that age, which is horrible to think about, but it does happen, the account becomes part of the child's estate. Custodial accounts are a great way to start saving early for a child and to help them understand financial responsibility. We hope you enjoyed this latest installment of What Is That? Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.